What's up, people? I'm the creator, the founder of No Holds Ball, New Hampshire Entertainment. Now, we try to make a movie called The Good Slave Master. Now, the thing is, is that history, Hollywood, don't give a true depiction of slavery. You always hear the black side of the story, but you don't hear the white side. Now the fact is, is that by the time people heard about the Americas, they was coming out of prison, some of them. Some of the rebels that was called niggers over in England, because they didn't agree with the king's rule, were called niggers put in prison. The word niggers not even American. Now there's a lot of hate going on in the country that I'm trying to stop. It's a lot of implosion foreign domestic ideologies that we need to put a hold on. Black and white people been over here for too damn long for us to keep arguing and fighting with each other. Now I think No Holds Barred New Hampshire Entertainment making this movie called The Good Slave Master will help the country. This is our country. Blacks and whites. This is our, sh this is our country. And anybody else country that come over here looking to do the right thing this is, this is human this is made by God you know the, the country is unique and I just I believe making my movie the vision I seen in the Underground Railroad in New Hampshire was shed light to the fact that blacks are not the only ones that suffered during slavery now this is the whole thing my character happened to be a colonial soldier, but a lot of people's lineage is not colonial soldier. So I believe that telling the truth, that dumb themselves also went through degradations, hardship, murder, rape, all the killings before the slave ship as well as after the slave ship will help the country to stop imploding. The reality of slavery is, is that black people are not the only ones that went through degradation. So I just, I just believe that telling a true depiction of slavery will only help the country. A lot of people just don't know that white people suffered also, because they still under the impression that it was only black people that suffered. Now I believe that as long as the country in itself keeps believing that only black people suffered then it's going to be a problem because you can only point fingers one way fingers need to be pointed all different ways I got Irish in my family I know I just look black but hell I got Irish in my family and at funerals and weddings you see everybody and don't nobody give a damn about no color except for stupid people it's just my belief that when everybody finds out to in depth how others suffered, it'll just be better. Now the true fact that America's is when some white people heard about the Americas, they was in prison. And that's just reality. That's just reality talking. You know what I'm saying? People was in prisons because they couldn't afford to pay their taxes. If you can't afford to pay your taxes, you went to jail in England. Or they take your wife, your son, your daughter. If you hide them, you went to jail. So by the time some of your lineage heard about the Americas, they was coming out of the prisons, no shoes, degradation, being mistreated, property taken, no mental health or social programs by the time the Americas came up. So the reality is, is that you got not even ten generations down the road, the people that's here now are pointing fingers at the social programs here in America. When in fact, their lineage comes from degradation, disrespect, non-understanding of mental health, and plain, basically, they were just being mistreated. 
So since they was being mistreated, them also went through hardship in England as well as in Americas. Staying on the topic of the England prisons, England did the same thing everybody else did, Cuba and everybody. Countries rid their land of the unwanted. But a lot of people extend their existence to colonial soldier. When the fact is everybody didn't come from a lineage of colonial soldier. My character happens to be a colonial soldier who was messing with people's wives. And since he was since he was messing with people's wives, they put him in prison. So by the time he heard about the Americas, he was coming out dingy with the uniform on, dirty, just like the rest of the people coming out of the prisons getting on the slave ship. He seen a slave being beat. He shielded the slave with his body. One of the women that he was messing with seen what he did. Gave money to one of the ship hands to make sure he was kind of alright in America. But he still went through the same degradation and shifted us. Same thing, they shackled him, didn't feed him right, called the nigger, just like whites was calling whites niggers in England before blacks even came on the scene. A lot of people think the word nigger is American, but it's not. The word nigger is far from American. And you can trace the word nigger to negro in the Bible. The thing is, is that nigga is not a color. The Webster Dictionary, since black people haven't sued him yet, extends the word nigga to being someone of African descent. This is false. We haven't sued him yet for a good reason. That's neither here nor there. The reality of the situation of degradation is blacks is not the only one Jews are not the only one Orientals are not the only one you have people in England being mistreated the beginning story of white people coming out English prisons for protesting against the king rule for not having money to pay taxes for not one of their sons and daughters to go work to pay off their debts or their taxes and place in prison is a part of the story I want to tell. It's a part of the story that needs to be told. So we need to just tell the story and we need to tell it the right way. 